In today's discussion, we are going to talk about how to calculate number of protons, neutrons, and electrons in atom and ion. And to begin with this discussion, let's have first this example. Let's say we have the element carbon, which is written in this symbol. And what you notice at, as you look on periodic table, you see this form. We're in six represent the atomic number and 12.011 represent the average atomic mass and to have an information atomic number is also equal to the proton now there are other ways on how to write the elements or there are other ways to write this element and to have a general symbol to that let's say we have this element x with a here and c here where in a represent the mass number and C represent the atomic number now atomic number is also equal to the number of proton while the mass number is equal to the addition of proton plus the neutron and for you to understand this let's have an example let's say we have carbon with 12 here and 6 here our atomic number Is equal to 6 so here is the atomic number and our mass number is equal to 12 so this is our mass number now elements has different isotopes let's say for example the one that we example earlier the carbon 12 carbon 12 is written in this way there is also an isotope which is carbon 13 there is also an isotope which is carbon 14 so what I want you to focus here is that atomic number is always equal to an element why because atomic number is the one that is associated to identity or to the identity of the element like what I said atomic number is also equal to the proton now to name or how to name an isotopes isotope can be named as the element plus the mass number let's say for example here C, which is named as carbon and the mass number is 12 so this is named as carbon 12 how about this one it is named as carbon 13 how about this one it is named as carbon 14 so that's the how we name it now let's go to the main focus of this discussion which is all about calculating number of protons neutrons and electrons let's have this formula for us to understand how to calculate number of protons neutrons and electrons 
So in order for us to get the number of protons, let's say we have protons. So protons is equal to the atomic number. So the atomic number. Now, to calculate neutron, we need the mass number minus the atomic number. And to calculate the electron, we have the atomic number minus the charge and for you to understand this formula let's put it into an example now let's have carbon 12 so it carbon 12 is written like this so our formula said that proton is equal to the atomic number and by this time our atomic number is 6 so proton is equal to 6 our neutron is equal to the mass number which is 12 minus the atomic number which is 6 so it is equal to 6 so our neutron is equal to 6 now our electron is equal to the atomic number which is 6 minus the charge but by this time, there is no charge here. So it is equal to 0. So our electron is equal to 6. What did you notice here is that the proton and electron is equal to 6. They are the same value. So our element here is neutral. We have a neutral atom. Now, let's try another example. Let's say we have Na23. So we have this one. But by this time, there is a positive 3 charge here. So it is a cation. Okay? It is a cation. Our proton here is equal to the atomic number, which is 11. And our neutron here is equal to the mass number minus the atomic number. So 23 minus 11 is equal to 12. Now, our electron here is equal to 11, the atomic number, minus the charge, which is the positive 3. So 11 minus positive 3 is equal to 8. So our electron is 8. What did you notice is that proton is bigger than electron. So it is a positively charged. So cation is a positively charged. Now, let's try another example. Let's have aluminum 27. So we have this one. But this time, there's a negative 2 charge here. So, which is considered as anions. Anions. Now, our proton here is equal to atomic number, which is 13. And our neutron is equal to the mass number, which is 27, minus the atomic number, which is 13. So, 27 minus 13 is equal to... 14. So our neutron is 14. Now let's have the electron. We have atomic number 13 minus negative 2. So negative times negative is positive. So we have 13 plus 2 is equal to 15. An ion is a negatively charged ion. So that's how we calculate the number of proton neutron and electron. Thank you for listening.